Hello everyone, welcome to another Gun Game devlog. Gun Game is a 2D twin stick shooter roguelike where you craft your gun out of parts that you find during your run. I've been hard at work the past few weeks trying to catch up to where the game was before I stopped working on it and I think I'm basically there. I've got a lot of new stuff to show in this devlog and I'd love to get your thoughts on it. I got a lot of feedback about the art and I think all of it was really constructive and it gave me a lot of ideas. I think in the last devlog, I failed to emphasize that everything is work in progress. So I'll say that now, everything you see is work in progress. Anything could change at any time. I do plan on redoing the player or redesigning the player slightly to give him more personality. So nothing here is final and please continue to point out things that don't look right to you or don't seem good because that's really valuable feedback for me to take into account during development. So I worked with your feedback this time around and I organized a lot of my ideas and a lot of your ideas into a nice little board here. Look at this done column. Look at how big that is. So we're gonna go through everything that I did. Everything here in this done column is new stuff and let's get into it. I'm gonna talk about the art a little bit first. So you'll notice a greatly improved tile set, in my opinion. We've got a couple of different variations on the tile with a little bit of color. Also improved the wall texture by making the tops of them look like bricks, which I think looks a lot better. Added a little bit of a shadow between the floor and the wall, which gives it depth. I also implemented Y sorting on the tile map, so it, you can actually go and be partially eclipsed by the wall here, which is just a nice touch because it, it makes it feel like the walls have depth on the bottom as well. I've also been experimenting with lighting. So you can see right here, we've got this candelabra, which is actually emitting some light. I don't know how easy it is to see on the video, but this is actually providing the illumination for this room. I've also added shadows to all the characters. So you can see the player here has a shadow underneath his feet. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the next room. You can see that we've got a nice little level selector here, which I'm playing with. So my idea is to have a level selector like so, where you can actually see in real time which room you want to choose. Now, this is obviously very bare bones, but the idea here is that you're gonna be able to see an overview of what types of things you're going to encounter in the room. So this is gonna be very similar to how games like Slay the Spire do it, where you can sort of plot out your path, but I thought it would be interesting to be able to plot out your path in real time without viewing a menu. So simply being able to go up, connect the room, select, any room that's available to you, whether you want treasure or enemies, and then to place it. And that gives a nice little connecting animation here. So lots of visual work to do there for sure. So moving up into this room, you can see I've also started work on some tile set variations. So we've got a nice little rug here. We've also got little pots that are destroyable. And of course we got the enemies. So the enemies have shadows beneath them as well. And when I hit them, there's a flash effect when they get hit and also a little bit of knockback. The other thing is that when the player gets hit, there's this little force field that shows up indicating that you are invulnerable for that period of time. And you can see in the top left, I've got a health bar now, which I'm in God mode at the moment, so it's not depleting, but it's just like a basic crystal that I think looks pretty neat. And going back to the lighting, you can kind of see that the lighting is giving a nice little bit of variation to the level. There's darker spots and there's lighter spots. I think it just generally looks pretty nice. The problem with the current version of Godot is that 2D lighting though is very expensive. I've got 455 draw calls going on just in the spot that I'm at. And I did some research online and the consensus seemed to be, yeah, for a 2D game, anything over 100 is a lot. Apparently this is going to be resolved in Godot 4, so I'm hoping that I can migrate my project to Godot 4 before the game is complete. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to figure out a solution for this performance problem. I've also been working on iterating on the dash. A lot of you pointed out in the previous devlog that you didn't like how the roll looked. So I thought maybe I could make it a dash and that would look a little bit more natural. And the plus side of making it a dash is that you could still shoot while dashing. The problem is, I still think the dash doesn't look that great at all. It certainly doesn't feel that great. And so I'm kind of at a loss for what the dash should be. So if anyone has any ideas of what I can do stylistically or control wise with the dash, I would love to hear your ideas. All right, going into the boss room now, I've 
done a Rat King boss, which is just a larger version of the rat, but actually drawn to scale, so it's not simply scaled up. He's got some king garb, like a nice little crown, and some royal robes. Again, not final on the character design. I might make him even bigger later on, but I think he's good for now. So I'm planning on adding a couple more attack patterns to this guy, as well as making his AI just a little bit more aggressive overall. But generally speaking, he fits right in, and I'm pretty happy with the direction that he's heading in. And restarting the game, the last big thing that I've done since the last devlog is started work on a loot randomization system. And so the idea for this game is that you're going to go through the dungeon, you're going to kill a bunch of things, and you're going to get currency and loot drops. And the loot drops are going to almost always be gun parts that you can choose to equip or leave on the ground. And so here is what a loot room looks like currently. So I can see that this is a loot room. And again, when I have this screen up, there will be some stats floating around somewhere telling you exactly what's going to be in the next room. Because I realize you can't really see the next room very well with the camera just offset like this. So there will be some sort of UI indication of what type of room this is. But I'm going to go ahead and place this and then I can go up. You can see that when I stand next to this shotgun receiver, I get a very basic UI, but still informative. The part is the shotgun receiver. This is the bullets per second that it shoots, its ammo multiplier, and its damage. Okay, and then over on the right hand side here, we could see I have a direct comparison. At a glance, I can see which stats go up and which ones go down. So as you can see, the damage goes up here, the fire rate goes down, ammo goes down. Now that would be if I swap my current moss weapon over to a moss weapon with a shotgun receiver. I can click swap gun up here to compare the other one, which is just a one for one replacement with my shotgun. But as you can see, only one stat here is increased compared to what I have equipped. So I'm going to go ahead and just equip it on this gun here because the damage goes way up, even though the fire rate and ammo go down. And now you can see that I have a shotgun receiver that's much slower than the typical moss weapon. And these fire bullets that hit really hard. And you can see that this is just gonna be blowing up these rats real quick. Now, the interesting thing that I, I think this game has a lot of potential with is you can create a gun like this that does a lot of damage, but the bullets move really slowly. And so it's hard to hit an enemy. Okay, so that basically covers everything that I got done since the last devlog. Let's talk a little bit about what else I have on the board here to give you an idea of where I'm taking the game next. And this is actually kind of where I want your help. If there's anything that you think I should obviously be working on next, let me know in the comments. If you don't like any of the art, let me know. If you have ideas for what I can do with the dash, let me know. If you like or dislike the level generation and the level selection that I've got going on, also let me know. So what I've got in progress is Rat King, which I mentioned, I still need to tweak his AI behaviors and add more capabilities to his attacks. Level generation is a big one. Right now, the levels that you can choose while you're going through aren't that interesting. And so giving a little bit more choice and consequences to the player choices. Up next to my to-do, currency loot drop. I want something to be collected when you kill enemies in the level. And obviously I want to be able to reward the player for choosing combat when they could have chosen an easier route. I want the player to feel as if they have good weapons, they can skip the treasure room and get more reward from the combat room. Because if the combat room doesn't give any sort of currency, then the obvious choice is just going to be to select the treasure room or the loot room and just walk right through it because then you get to skip something difficult. I want there to be a sense of loss if you already have good guns and choose not to go into combat. And so I think that's the role that currency can play. And then of course, that can be used to do upgrades in the future at a shop or by some other mechanism. I still need to work on the player dash. I need to add some enemy spawn animations. Boss health bar is a big one. And I do need to experiment a little bit more with how the rooms are selected. And then I've got a couple of polish elements back here. These are all things that are missing. I think the one I'm looking forward to most is this bullet casings because I think having a bunch of bullet shells flying everywhere when you're shooting is just going to add a lot to the chaos and to the feel of the game. Thank you all for tuning in to this gun game devlog. I'm glad that you all are finding an interest in this game. And again, please keep the comments coming. No critique is too harsh for me. I love all of it. It's helping me create a better game than I otherwise would. 
So if you have any thoughts at all, please let me know, and I'll see you in the next gun game devlog. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe. If you want to learn how to build a 2D platformer in the Godot engine, check out my Udemy course, link in the description. If you want to support my work, you can pick up one of my games on Steam or itch.io, links in the description as well.